Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another video for you guys. Before we get going on the video, take a moment, please hit that like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. And make sure to get up in the comments, guys. As always, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the video. Now, did you guys see that in the beginning there? Um, a lot of people thought that that was just a meme or something. When this, you know, when this was big news and we were hearing about this daily in, in the news headlines. But it was no meme. Jesse Smollett really had the nerve to call himself the gay Tupac. Can you believe this guy, man? Uh, very sick individual. This guy just foul on so many levels. But aside from that, he's he's sick in the head, and he's just down. It's just downright pathetic. This whole thing, you know, and the fact that he walked. It's just it's crazy to me. But anyways. That was his first time talking to the people after, you know, he faked this. And, you know, at this time, people didn't know it was a hoax yet. So he was trying to sound all heroic and everything like that. And I don't know, guys. But the reason why I'm talking about this now, uh, because, you know, this dude doesn't deserve any uh, real news coverage. But what I wanted to tell you guys is that. The evidence now has been made public. You know, this always happens with cases. After the case is closed out and a little time passes, things are made available to the public. So you guys can get out there and go check out the evidence if you want. But um, it's just crazy. They, The police put this all together very fast. They connected the dots. These guys were pretty stupid. <laughs> they were not smart. But um, anyways, this video you're seeing here, that is... A video of them two brothers that helped him you know stage this whole thing and they're in the place there it's called the crafty beaver convenience store and that's i'm buying a red hat and of course the the rope it's just so crazy man this guy tried to um make it you know look like someone tried to lynch him man and, it, and it's just so crazy as we know in society i i spoke on this when i did other videos about this there's a lot of problems in America. You know, we have a lot of problems in American society today. And unfortunately, there is um, high tensions, you know, and this right here could have really spilled over because, you know, that's how it goes. Things that happen in the news can spill into our everyday society of everyday, you know, average Americans like me and you, you know, and um it, this could have started uh, fights, all kinds of stuff. So this guy really could have got people hurt because he wanted to fake some stuff and make himself look like some kind of hero so that his character on Empire didn't get pushed back to the back to the background storylines. You know, um, anyone out there who does watch Empire, get in the comments. I've only watched like one season, but now that after all this happened, I'm like, ah. I haven't watched the show at all, but I'm just curious to know what happened with his character now. Like, is his character in the in the spotlight on the show or did he get pushed to the background? Like, what happened? I'm just curious if anyone knows. And also, guys, hit the comments if there's anything else, you know, about this. You you guys think that I missed or you just want to fill me on, in on whatever. That's how, as I said, it is on this channel. I want to hear everything you guys got to say. Now, getting back to this. Um, speaking of that rope, this is what's so listen, listen to this. When the police finally showed up and he was in the lobby of the apartment building, right? It was like 45 minutes later. This dude was still sitting there with the rope around his neck, like trying to be all dramatic and look like a hero. And that's what I'm saying. This this thing was all just. It just shows how how much how this dude really needs help and how pathetic he is that it was so easy to spot that this shit was fake you know what i mean and um they got they got text messages they got this video of them buying the supplies for to stage the crime um they got all kinds of other stuff i'm not even going to go through it all but it's, it's just pretty crazy you know and that leads me to my next point is i don't understand how this dude how they how they dropped all these charges you know um he was it was a 16 count indictment 
They had him, all the evidence lined up. It was an open and shut case. This guy was done off. You know, he was done. He was, there was no way he was going to beat this case. And it's not like he took some kind of plea bargain, you know. It was, hey, we're going to drop the case. Uh, basically, is like, I believe they just kept his bail money in there. They were, they were like, that'll cover like a fine and you're good to go. And what really gets me about this guy is even after all that, this dude still has the nerve. He hasn't admitted that this was fake. He still is trying to say this really happened to him, you know? And it's just crazy, man. It's just it's just shocking. And it no respect for this guy, what he did. As I said, it could have caused a lot of problems in society. And um, screw this guy. But I just wanted to share this with you with everyone and let you guys know that the evidence is out there if you want to go check it out for yourself it is available um thanks for tuning in guys get in the comments let me know what you guys think about this all but how did this dude walk right i don't know catch you guys on the next video i'm out of here peace what we do here is go back 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 back